The other day I was sitting there admiring the Swiss scenery and along came this dude. He walked over to the stream, dipped his water bottle in, and started drinking. I thought to myself, that's kind of an interesting life decision. I mean, we're sitting in a cow field. When an American travels to another country, it's pretty common to be told to only drink bottled water, which is kind of funny because when my Swiss wife travels to the US, she only drinks bottled water. So I guess it goes both ways. But the general idea is that you don't always know where the water came from in that country or whether or not it's safe to drink. So you just drink bottled water. And that's pretty good advice, unless you're in Switzerland. In Switzerland, you wanna drink the water. It's pretty dang good. Switzerland is well known for having these beautiful blue lakes and these crystal clear streams, but it actually wasn't always that way. For the first half of the 20th century, Switzerland had a pretty bad water pollution problem. Factories were allowed to dump whatever they wanted into the water, and most of the country's sewage flowed directly into lakes or streams with no treatment at all. The problem had become so bad that many of the swimming areas that we enjoy using today were closed. In the 1950s, the Swiss got together and said, look, this water pollution problem is getting pretty nasty. We've got to do something. And they did. Since then, they've put a massive amount of effort and money into cleaning their water system, spending somewhere in the area of 50 billion on the sewage system alone. And now today, Switzerland has some of the cleanest water in the world. But I think all of this clean water kind of leads to the misconception that because the water is so clean, it's also safe to drink. I mean, everybody knows that you can't drink out of a swamp. It just looks nasty. But this water looks like it came out of a bottled water commercial. It just looks so tasty. Okay, so normally the water is nice and crystal clear until you want to make a video about that water. And then it rains a whole bunch. And now the water looks real bad. Bummer. The problem is surface water like lakes and streams has a lot of potential to pick up contaminants like cow manure or other manure. If the water's contaminated, it can make you pretty sick. Just ask somebody that's had Jardia. I hear it's not very fun. Also, even if you're hiking or backpacking, there's not a lot of reason that you would want to drink out of a lake or stream. It's not even the best tasting water. Switzerland has publicly accessible drinking water all around. And I know as an American, as soon as I hear public water, I think there's like chlorine and whatever else in there and it tastes nasty. But in Switzerland, generally that's not the case. Public water is normally just filtered and they only add chlorine when they have to do maintenance on the pipes or something like that. So the water coming out of the tap is actually as good or better than bottled water. There's also a law that if the water is unsafe to drink, there has to be a little plaque next to the spigot saying, you can't drink this water, but in German or French or Italian. Anyways, if the water doesn't have a little plaque, then it should be good to drink. It's actually pretty common to see people filling up their water bottles in like bathroom sinks, which is just kind of weird to me. And even my wife does this. She will drink water out of a bathroom sink, but not my American water. How hurtful is that? But if you're somebody like me, and you don't feel like filling up your water bottle in a public bathroom, don't worry, there are plenty of other options. Switzerland has all of these little water fountains all over the place, and they're not just for show. You can drink this water. Correction, it's safe to drink unless it says you can't. In that case, don't drink the water. Also, use some common sense, people. If it's in a cow pasture and it doesn't look like it's made for you, maybe don't drink it. And because it's Switzerland, all of these water fountains are documented on this online map. So when you're hiking, you can just look ahead and say, oh, there's water in another kilometer here. I'll just fill up there. According to the map, there are five water fountains in Einsiedeln. So we are going into Einsiedeln. We're gonna walk around and test all of these fountains to find the best one. First fountain here. One out of five, I'm gonna give it a four. It's pretty cold, not ice cold. This one's not even on. Zero out of five. We just visited fountain number three and uh, it's not there. So two of the three water fountains we visited are non-functional. This is turning out to be a disaster. Five out of five. It's pretty good, pretty cold. Walking around, we found like a whole bunch of water fountains that are not on the map. 
So apparently the map doesn't have every water fountain. The fifth and final fountain. It's not as cold as the uh, train station. Four out of five. All right, the results are in, and according to this American, the train station fountain is the best fountain in Einsiedeln, and the map only gets a three out of five for its accuracy rating. The map is linked in the description below. But where does Switzerland get so much drinking water that they can just let all of these fountains run all day and all night and all year? I mean, that's a lot of water. Well, they get this water from several different places. They're kind of boring, but one of the main ones is spring water. Now this spring water is where it's at. This is water that has seeped underground and through the process of running through the ground has been naturally filtered. But also because it's underground, it stays nice and cool even on a hot summer day. The water eventually flows to the ground surface and is captured in some sort of holding tank. Now a key part of this is that the water is captured before it has a chance to leave the ground and get contaminated by things like manure and stuff like that. The water is then piped downhill to a fountain like this. The gravity provides the pressure so there's no pumps or anything like that needed and you just have a steady stream of pure drinking water year round. And this is the best water that you will ever have. It's so amazing. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good one.